In the project menu, we have another new window called the content browser. Content browser is for organizational purposes. It is a very powerful way to keep your assets organized, both for the project you're in and for your workflow in general. I am a big fan, a big proponent of staying organized in your work because when I'm in creative mode and I'm actually creating music, I don't want to be distracted by, hey, where was that sample library? Where's that sound effect? What drive was it on? What was it called? I don't want to spend time hunting for things. I want things right in front of me so I can keep working in a creative flow. The content browser allows me to do that. So by default, under the project, I see all of the files in the audio files folder all the bounced files, all the clippings that belong to this. In places, I can add any places across any drives on my computer that I want. So here's my desktop, my downloads folder, a drum loops folder, and anything in here can be dragged into DP into the appropriate place. So if it's a WAV file, I can drag it straight into an audio track or make a new track out of it if I wanted to drag this drum loop into the project. I can also save my favorite instruments, my favorite effects, my favorite insert settings, samples, and clippings. Um, so, like for example, with insert settings, I could come up with my favorite insert setting for a particular kind of track, drag it into the insert settings in the mixer, and it would instantly take effect. So it's a very nice librarian to help me stay organized.